Hello, so this is a short presentation about how to take your tennis game to the next level by getting tennis strong. Before we go into the how to make your tennis better on court, I want to talk to you about why we should really consider uh, tennis to be a healthy lifestyle that we want to do for a lifetime. A study done a few years ago looked at all the different choices that we have for physical activities to increase our health. If we look at those people that regularly played tennis versus those that regularly went to the gym, there was an increased life expectancy by up to a decade. This is very significant if you think about the science behind what people are currently doing, focusing on the gym, uh, focusing on Pilates and cardio, running, Peloton, all those different things. If we look at the science, the science says your ability to regularly play tennis is going to help you stay healthy and have an active lifestyle throughout your life. In the physical fitness world, in the health world, there's this theory that the things that we do in our 30s, 40s, 50s, and even 60s is going to translate to better independence, a healthier life, and um, overall longevity throughout our 70s, 80s, and 90s and beyond. So this is something that we should really recapitulate in our minds how we consider the things that we do to be healthy to help us play tennis for a lifetime. So my name is Dr. Donald Shrump. I'm the director of Magna Sports Performance at CourtSense. I have a doctorate degree in chiropractic, a master's degree in clinical nutrition. I've been a strength coach for over 20 years and probably helped well over 10,000 people along the way. Um, one of the things that I've learned about with tennis is that tennis is a very unique sport in terms of the demands that are required for people on court. I started using a phrase a few years back called tennis strong because if we look at the things that you need to play tennis for a lifetime, it's very specific in the footwork, the agility, the cardiovascular ability, uh, the flexibility that you need to continue to play throughout a lifetime. So I want you all to consider the, the following presentation about how to get tennis strong. So I want to be upfront. Uh, Magnus Sports Performance is using a, a new format in terms of this Inside Out Tennis Fitness Program. And if you want more information, you can scan this QR code and get a, a phone call with me right away. So in working with lots of people over the years, I've always tried to use a three-step format in terms of evaluating somebody based on that evaluation, developing a, a bestoke program for them. And coach them through that program and then reevaluate. So, this uh, continuum kind of always goes around, and depending on your body and your age and different parameters, it will affect how often we reevaluate. But all the components that I consider in our Tennis Strong program include your cardiovascular level, your mobility, flexibility. Uh, if you have old injuries, your prehab, the things we're doing to prevent future injury, and your nutrition and lifestyle. And all these things for me need to be tennis specific in terms of. Um, are you doing the right cardio? Are you a marathon runner and not doing any intervals that you would need for tennis? These are the type of things that I want to work on. Um, are you super tight or are you flexible? Um, have you had a knee replacement? Have you had some other injury that's, that's potentially holding you back because you're not doing the, the correct uh, prehab uh, rehabilitation exercises that you need to maintain the, the health of that joint? Or are you under eating, overeating, not eating the right things, uh, staying up too late? These are all that nutrition and lifestyle uh, aspect of tennis. So these are all the different components to keep you in the game. So the three things that I really want to talk about today uh, that may be holding you back to either increasing your level of tennis um, or maintaining your level the, uh, consistently over the years, or whether or not you really get it and it's it, and it is already a tennis lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle. The three key components are your cardiovascular level. Um, in order to play uh, the, the game that it is today, you need to be able to, to move quickly and recover fast and do this over and over again. So it's both anaerobic and aerobic system of your cardiovascular system. Um, the number one predictor of injury out there is previous injury. So if you have an old injury, uh, we need to know about it. We need to be doing something to help prevent uh, future injury. And of course, the footwork of tennis is so unique compared to other sports. So we, not, we need to break down and make sure that you understand all the components of your footwork and go back to like the basic agility things that we need to do as we get older. All these things should be really considered as tennis specific and working towards keeping you on the court. Um, a lot of people get stuck. And what I mean by stuck is that they can't understand why 
they are you know, at the level they currently are. So our evaluation process kind of points us in the right direction. So if your cardio level is okay, then that's, that's fine. But if your power level, so your strength, your ability to move your joints may be an issue that we need to focus on. And that's your top priority. Somebody else, they may have plenty of power and strength and they don't have the cardiovascular ability. And then somebody else, it's just that footwork, that agility, that ability to move around the court that they just don't quite understand or they've lost a step. Um, they're a little bit slower than they used to be. I want to break down all these key components and build a bespoke program for you. What we have found in terms of the cardiovascular field is if we stick a heart rate monitor on a group of people and they're all doing the same workout, they're all doing the same drilling on court, there may be somebody that's in the red over 90% because their cardiovascular level is a little bit low. Their ability to handle anaerobic uh, aspect of the game may be undertrained. So we like to use the technology of this heart rate monitor to keep us honest. So this way we know how hard you're working or how hard you're not working, how long your rest periods are. And if we think about the longevity aspect of it, I want to know what your VO2 max is, because if you're under what is required for the level of play that you want to be at, then we got to bring your level up. And then we want to maintain that for as long as possible. The next thing is uh, injuries. There are a lot of different injuries in tennis, and there are specific programs that we could be doing to make sure you're preventing some of these injuries beyond the technical uh, components of tennis. So, you know, if you're prone to shoulder injuries, then we got to make sure you're doing uh, shoulder care. If you're prone to hip injuries and back things, we got to do core and, and hip things. Um, so the program that we designed is going to make sure we include all these different things specific for tennis, specific for you. And of course, the last thing that we considered, uh, this was an interesting study done on traditional training versus agility training. As we get older, our ability to uh, move laterally decreases, our memory decreases. Many things that just uh, go away with age um, can be actually corrected with specific agility things. And if we do these agility things correctly, we can actually increase your VO2 max, decrease your reaction time, get your vertical jump power up. Uh, tennis is a lateral sport and we could be working lateral agility so you don't tumble and fall, so you don't trip. And there's carryover from this type of training in normal life. So if you uh, trip on a step or a curb, you're going to better be able to catch yourself and not fall and get hurt. Um, and if you look on this graph, it's quite interesting. The agility training did a tremendous job on memory. So if we could think of that cognitive decline with age, if we continue to do things uh, specific for our bodies to, to challenge yourself in this agility, uh, to be agile on the court, we're actually going to help our brain and our cognitive ability as we age. So this new program is going to be starting in a few weeks, and we're going to be talking about this one-on-one. -on -one. And if this is something that you're possibly interested in, uh, we can talk about it. Uh, we're looking at 30-minute classes that are going to warm you up, put you through a great workout that's working that arm care, hip care, the specific things that you need, and that tennis footwork in a way that's going to give you the cardiovascular ability and, uh, and really break down that footwork so you completely understand it. So if you have any questions or are interested in this type of program, please scan this QR code and set up a call with me and we can go through all the specifics of this program. Thank you.